Uh, Cam, yes, could you please explain? Uh, could you could you explain combustion reactions in the form of a birds and the bees talk? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Daddy, Daddy, how does a internal combustion engine work? Daddy, I'm confused. Well, you see, little Kathleen, sometimes when two oxygen molecules meet something that they tolerate very, very much. What does, what does, what does tolerate mean? It means... Is it like you and mommy? Yeah, yeah, only with less wine. <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be, to be perfectly honest, that is also applicable in combustion. Um, because sometimes you need an accelerant. So, what happens is that, actually, Lars, yeah. Do you want to come over here and help me out here? Oh no, other uh, daddy. <laughs> other daddy. Yes, yeah, sometimes there are two daddies, much like there are two oxygen molecules. <laughs> so, what are we even looking at here? Is it a side? Are we looking at electronegativity of oh, do you oxygen? Want, do you want lefty disabled? Uh, Eh. Now he's used to it. I think we're going to disable that. Okay. Back to this. Back to this. Back to this. Back to this. Yeah. You want to get so back to the middle of the roads. Yeah, so we're, 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 it's a redox thing. Wah, wah, <laughs> wah, wah. How can't drive? Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at an oxidation here. So sometimes two oxygen molecules have, uh, have some electrons they want to give to something real bad. No, I point Santa gives me presents. Uh, yes. I'm but a child. <laughs> this is true. So those electrons, they, they, uh, oh, man. This is, this is not working out here. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what my mommy said to me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Nothing I haven't said myself. Um... <laughs> So, okay, come on, brain. I need to actually work this out on paper. I'm a bad chemist. I'm a theoretician. I don't actually do reactions anymore. Or ever. You did reactions? Well, not really. <laughs> uh, okay, so. So, so when hydrocarbon meets an oxygen. Oh, wait, a hydrocarbon. It's those oily things it's that Similar to the little bottle beside mommy and dad. Um. Uh, this is not entirely appropriate for the children. Uh, okay, so a hydrocarbon meets an oxygen, and then are they friends? Very much so. Yes. Do they give each other a hug? Uh, they yes. give each other a very special kind of hug. Oh, the naked <laughs> hug that you and mommy sometimes do? <laughs> uh, a lot like that, only... Actually, no, exactly like that, because both wind up completely annihilated and transformed into something <coughs> fundamentally less useful. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's broken, it will never, ever reform. Mm -hmm. You can never go back. Uh, and if you do it enough times, you're, you change the atmosphere of your entire planet. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's not proven. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming off the rails quick. Dostro says that my that my small child voice may be the most frightening thing he's heard in a long time. It's very similar to the spoofer for voice. Oh, well, the spoofer for voice is actually a little higher and a little softer, I think. But uh, I uh, I right, um, I guess they're pretty similar. I'm not. Yeah. I never claimed to be an actual voice actor. Um, uh, all right, so okay, so the oxygen model, uh, the oxygen molecule, what's a molecule? Is that just a tiny thing? Yeah, it's the smallest thing that has the character of the greater thing. That does not make any sense to me as a child, and it barely makes sense to me as a child. <laughs> <laughs> I also went what? Yeah. yeah. Well, That's a see, terrible analogy. <laughs> well, you see, a molecule isn't really a ball and a stick that you imagine in high school. It's a wave in space, and everything else is just kind of out there doing its thing. 
Okay, so the oxygen thing and the hydrocarbon thing get together and they have a, a special time and then they both change into something else and then what happens? Oh, what do yeah. they change into? Well, there's a, you know, a brief spectacular release of light, heat, oh, ener I know. energy, and then they are... This uh, is very and sexy. Gas. And gas. <laughs> <laughs> sexy after eating a bowl of chili. <laughs> Which does have its own special sexy character, let me tell you what. Um, and then they release, uh, well, they are transformed into uh, side products such as carbon dioxide, water, and a whole host of other things depending on what happened to be around at the time. For example, uh, lots of nitrate or nitrous oxides, um, you know, depending on who else got pulled into their horrible, crappy gyre. Of disintegrating relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like Daddy and Mommy's problems? In the <laughs> Why does it sound more like that and less sound like or less like internal combustion? Well, because Daddy is doing something called projecting right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I think C. Okay. Oh, oh wow, hey. Cam, that was great. Thank oh. you. Uh, I would give you a high five, but you're busy, so I'll just give you a pat on the shoulder. Oh, yeah. All right.